Angela Levin, who met and interviewed Prince Harry for a book she wrote on him, claimed the spectacular royal wedding was a step up the ladder of fame for the former Suits actress, Meghan Markle. Ms. Levin made the explosive claim as she responded to royal author Tina Brown who said Meghan hated every second of her 2018 tour to Australia with Harry. Ms. Levin posted on Twitter to her more than 38,000 followers, no surprise there there. Meghan was preparing to leave the royal family ASAP after she got married. The £32 million wedding was a step up the ladder of fame. Netflix have tripped her up. It comes after former Vanity Fair editor Ms. Brown claimed Meghan hated every second of her 2018 tour of Australia with Prince Harry, branding the trip silly. Ms. Brown claimed a palace worker said, so, Meghan must have been thrilled with it all, right? No, she apparently hated every second of it. She didn't understand why things were set up in that way. Instead of being excited when thousands of people showed up at the opera house, it was very much like, what's the purpose? I don't understand. Speaking to the Times last year, another source said the former Suits actress didn't get it when thrilled crowds showed up to welcome her and Harry in Australia, she reportedly said to the team, what are they all doing here? Harry, and Meghan, a former US actress, married in a lavish Windsor ceremony in May 2018, a wedding which was heralded at the time as infusing a blast of Hollywood glamour and modernity into the monarchy, and making them one of the world's biggest celebrity couples. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who share son Archie Harrison and daughter Lilibet Diana, sparked a royal crisis when they publicly announced in January 2020 they wished to step back from royal duties and spend more time in the US away from the public spotlight. A later deal brokered by the Queen meant they went on their own way from April 2020. As part of the agreement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have sought to carve out a progressive new role, with the aim to finance themselves. The pair also stopped using their HRH titles, his or her royal highness, were banned from using royal in their branding and Harry, who remains a prince, was forced to relinquish his beloved military titles. Since the departure, the couple have signed a major TV deal with US streaming giant Netflix as they carve out their new life in Los Angeles and the pair made their first public appearance together in Europe since quitting as senior working royals more than two years ago when they attended a reception at the Invictus Games last month. Now there is speculation the pair will be back in the UK to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, even taking a place on Buckingham Palace balcony.